become king of Israel. But it wasn't a time of his own choosing. It was a time of God's choosing when David became king of Israel. Amen? God chose. A time appointed of the Father when David would become king. But let's go back to chapter 9. Let's deal just a little bit more with Mephibosheth. Um, Uh, verse 6, 2 Samuel 9, 6. Now when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, came unto David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And he said unto Mephibosheth, David said unto Mephibosheth, and he, ans and he answered, and behold thy servant. And David said unto him, fear not. What is it? it this fear, the flesh is fear, and the fear is the flesh. What was David doing here? David had already conquered his flesh. But the flesh fears. Why? Because the flesh has all its own thoughts. It has all its own desires and motives. And, and Mephibosheth thought that he was going to die. Will the flesh die? Yes, indeed. <laughs> but it's not a death of non-existence. It's a death of... It's a death in the sense that it does not control. You have to have flesh in the sense that you have, you know, it takes care of itself, it eats, you know, so on and so forth. You know, you take a bath, you know, you do all those mundane things that are necessary. The flesh is taken care of. In other words, here he is, David is now king, and it's not the flesh that takes care of itself. Let's change that. It's the spirit now takes care of the flesh. Before Saul ruled and reigned, the flesh took care of flesh. Saul took care of himself. Saul said, I, they wanted a king. They got a king. Israel wanted a king. A man to rule over them. They got it. They got a man who would take care of them. They got, a, they got flesh who would take care of flesh. And boy, did they get flesh. Because Saul was a self-centered king. He took their lands, and he took everything from them. They became into bondage. That's what happens when the flesh rules and controls. You become into bondage. But God had a king of his own, and it was David. And there was an appointed time when the spirit would rule over and take care of the flesh, not the flesh try to take care of the flesh. Amen? David said unto him, Fear not, for surely I will show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake, and will restore thee all the land that I saw thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continue. Isn't that something? The Spirit, David, type of Christ, type of the Spirit, is he didn't go in and in the flesh take the kingdom. It was given unto him. It was appointed to the Father. The Spirit now is taking care of the flesh. And the flesh now lives better than it ever thought it could. It's being taken care of. Look, I will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. And he bowed himself and said, Why is thy servant, what is thy servant, that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog as I am? Is the flesh not a dead dog? <laughs> Then, king, then the king called to Ziba, Saul's servant, and said unto him, I have given unto thee thy master's son all that pertaineth to Saul and to, and to all his house, that thou therefore and thy sons and thy servants shall till the land for him, and thou shalt bring in the fruits, that thy master's son may have food to eat. But Mephibosheth, thy master's son, shall eat bread always at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants, and so on and so forth. And he went out and did what the king said. Isn't that something? Others even began to serve his flesh. <laughs> the spirit now is in control. The spirit now rules. And what is the spirit? The spirit is the spirit of God. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, meekness, temperance, faith. It's the Spirit of Christ. It's the love of God. Amen. 
It's the purpose, motives of the heart of God now rules and reigns. And guess what? This, this flesh, the servant, amen, the flesh is taken better care of than it ever thought it could do on its own. It thought it could do it on its own, but even greater. Amen? Because he was preserved. You see, the servant of Jonathan thought that she was going to take care of Mephibosheth, that she needed to, out of fear, run and hide him and keep him and protect him because they thought, as every other king did, every other king would go out and slay the old king's descendants, everything that had to do with them. Why? Because rightfully, they had a... Truthfully, they had a right to the throne. They had a right to the throne. So that's why any other king would have went out and slew all, killed all of the descendants of Saul in this case, but that wasn't Jonathan, because Jonathan didn't take the kingdom by his own hand. It was given to him by God. How do you going to receive this, this king, kingship and priesthood? It's given by God. How do you get it? It's given by God. Yield yourself to God. Amen. Yield yourself to the working of His hand in your life. Amen. To the Spirit of God, how He works in your life, what He wants to change and do. Inquire of Him. You see, David inquired of God. How? There's the Philistines over there. What are you going to do about it? They're there. I see them. They're a problem. It's a problem. How many said how many of you said that to God? God, I know I, they 